When running code spaces, you have a couple of options on where to run it. I have this repository here with uh, some code for uh, using machine learning and a little bit of Python. The specifics of the repository don't matter that much. And I've already have a code space uh, running here that I've last used uh, 13 days ago. So I'm gonna click there to um, load it back again. And uh, that will set up the code space and it's going to start and and that's going to take take a, a, a quick second right there now the the two options that you're going to have is that uh, one is that you can run it on the browser and so far we've only seen that option but the other option is that you can run it locally so here the code space has uh, has loaded it is again running on the browser you can see here uh, i'm still in the browser and there's like a url all the way to the top and uh, the code has loaded but you do have the ability to run it locally so how would that work well what i need to do is open up command palette so i'm going to do this and i'm going to say uh, code spaces and i'm going to select open in vs code so when i select uh, open in vs code that means that i'm going to get a prompt asking if I want to open my local VS Code installation. I would, it requires to have VS Code installed locally in your machine. And uh, and then it will open that with the code space and will connect remotely. So let's see what happens. I'm going to click here. And immediately two pop-ups, the browser uh, say, saying if I want to allow Visual Studio Code. Yes, I want to say, uh, I want to open that and allow that extension, extension to open that URI, URI. So I'm going to say here, uh, I'm going to go and uh, open that one. And there's a couple of things happening here. You can see at the bottom for a second there, it says opening or connecting to remote code spaces. You can see it says code spaces here at the very, at, at the very, at the very bottom. Um, and uh, this, uh, this is a very, um, it's kind of like a, a, a way of telling if I'm running on code spaces or I'm running locally. So I had a, a different um, a different a VS Code window open, but this one is the one that it has connected to my remote code spaces. Now uh, we can uh, you can see here that is hugging face again. It's you have the explorer there. Uh, if I open the README, uh, this is exactly uh, what was uh, being. Uh, being shown in the github repository so i'm running locally this is my look you you don't see a url anymore um and if i open up a terminal and i say i want to create a new a new terminal and uh, just to double check you even see that there's all of the kinds of activation going on there uh, which is great and i'm going to uh, make this a little bit bigger there we go, and I'm going to poke around the operating system. OS-release is a good way of doing that. And you can see that this is Ubuntu 20.04. This is remote, this is not my local machine. And again, so you have a couple of options there. I'm running locally. If you prefer running your VS Code local with all of your settings they you already have pre-installed and you don't want to use the browser, you can certainly do that and the the connection will be automatic. So you can see here that it's editing on code spaces and I click there and you can uh, have a, a couple of options like rebuild the container and stop current code spacers or close, even close the remote connection.